Hey, this is Jason with Powerboat Magazine. I'm here in uh, Algonac, Michigan with uh, Wayne from Sensation Boats. Now, Wayne, tell me a little bit about your shop, how long you've been here, you know, kind of how Sensation started. I know it's grown a lot since you started it. So. Yeah, we started in 82, um, moved up to this facility here probably about nine years ago, eight, nine years, and uh, just kind of climbing up the ladder ever since, so. Yeah, um, and obviously the boats have grown quite a lot in size. Right. The technical aspects of it, you know, you guys have all the routing machines and all that, you know, how is, how is that? How have you seen the technology or everything grow in the last In the beginning, it was just basic stuff and uh, seemed like it was pretty easy to do. Um, as of today's date, you know, technology and the development of everything is just, uh, the envelope is just being pushed by all builders. So uh, obviously everybody keeps abreast of one another, and uh, which is good. <laughs> you get product development and, uh, you know, as you see now all the way up to our F4, there's, uh, there's quite a bit of uh, technology that's in the boats. Yeah. So uh, obviously you're you're pretty proud of what you put together. Oh yeah. And I know you're yeah. you're a hands-on guy out there on the floor uh, yeah, doing everything. <laughs> so you know what, yeah. what where does that come from? Your passion for the business? Ah, uh, jeez, I don't know. I was six years old. I was with my grandpa building boats. Uh, he worked for Chris Craft, so uh, I was being taught how to, you know, work with wood. So I did the whole wood gig and developed, uh, you know, my skills from from day one, I think, you know, so uh, then I love the way they run and ride and, you know, changing the bottoms and size motors and, you know, <laughs> playing with stuff, what did what, you know, and just, uh, you know, just continued on, so, uh, well, my grandpa and my dad left off at wood, they didn't think boats should be made out of fiberglass, and obviously, you know, fiberglass took over. Mm -hmm. Now, you were out, I was out here covering the uh, St. Clair race, you right. guys were out there as a, a big sponsor of it, had a lot of really cool boats on display, I ran the yeah. pace boats. You know, what was this weekend like for you? Oh, it was an awesome weekend. The weather was right, uh, good attendance, good response out of the people. You know, we'll get a couple, three sales out of the whole thing. You don't get them immediately, you just plant the seeds. And now, I know you guys You guys don't really rest on what you're doing with the, came out with the XRT, yep. the F4. Now you're you're moving on to other things. What's what's next for you guys? Well, we're uh, right on the edge of launching a new brand new 36. Uh, we've got so many customers that have our 32s that uh, are looking to move up to the next size boat. Obviously, ours is a 43. That's a heck of a jump. Um, they're asking for a 36, so uh, we're going to take a 32 and extend that boat. Uh, it'll be a lot of the components will be identical, so we're going to try and keep it somewhat price sensitive to that um, to the 32 a lot of things will run parallel um, the boat will come with staggers but obviously side by sides would be the mainstream product for that boat mm -hmm. um, through the winter here uh, I think that's what we're gonna pull off we haven't actually started it uh, it's been on the drawing board it's been on the books there and my brother's <laughs> at this time right in the office working on the, the pricing of the boat so that we can take these deposits um, and people know what they're going to pay for the boat and get the things ironed out. And uh, the state of the economy, uh, obviously we're s slow here, so this will definitely help our winner. And uh, uh, it just gives you something new again, new cells. So that's what we're on to. What else is the future for Sensation Hold? Do you guys got other projects you're looking at beyond that? Or? Uh, well, I'd actually like to put an entry-level boat into it, which is a 25-footer again. Uh, we're just talking about that, um, and obviously someday we take the uh, 43 scale that down into a true 39, so you'd have a complete spectrum of boat line, you know, all the, all the way through. So um, uh, that'd be our future. Yeah. <laughs> so well, cool. I appreciate you showing me around today, and I also oh, like yeah. the shirt you're wearing. <laughs> yeah. Take care of it, you know. So. Absolutely. All right. Well, thanks, Wayne. A pleasure. Thank you.